Hi y'all, I'm Kaylee. Welcome to my channel. If you have not been here before, thanks for finding me. If you have been here before, nice to see you again. I am Kaylee. I come on here and I try different beauty and fashion products. Um, I'm a mom of two and this is like my outlet. I enjoy coming on here and talking to all of you and trying these products. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and jump into it, but please like, subscribe, and comment beforehand. Um, today, I have an Allure Beauty Box, and it is September 2020, um, and I'm going to unbox it for you. I'm going to try to make it quick and use whatever products I can on my face on camera, so I'm going to go through the products and then use what I can. So I'm going to go ahead and take off this chop. The first thing I see is this pamphlet, and Allure's pamphlets usually um, are pretty good. They have all the items inside here, and it tells you the price. Um, occasionally there's items in my box that aren't in the pamphlet, so I don't know why that is, um, but any information I'll put up here somewhere, um, while showing the product so you can look it up yourself. But the first product, um, that I see when I open this box, or the products I see when I open this box, are right here. So the first product I'm going to pull out is the Waterless Dry Conditioning Instant Moisture, and this, um, you spray on your ends and brush out. So I will not use this since I just did my hair on camera, but I will try it um, eventually and let you know it's paraben free and sulfate free. So this actually is not in my handy dandy pamphlet. So I'm going to look it up and post information around. Um, oh, maybe it's locked. Hold on. It is locked. So it has this little um, turning it's unlocked and then it turns to be locked. So that's neat if you're carrying around in your purse. I'm just going to, to strong spray. Oh, it smells so good. That is a great smell. I love it. It smells so fresh and like just so pretty. It's a very pretty smell. I do like that a lot. And I like the locking me mechanism. So that's the first product. The second product is the e.l.f. highlighting brush. And this retails for $4. Now, these are cruelty-free and vegan-free brushes. Um, I have a few of them, and I do like them. It's a very soft brush. Um, mine have lasted quite a while, even through, like, washing. I mean, I'm not harsh when I wash my brushes, but um, I will say that it feels very, very light. Um, it is a little shorter than some of my other brushes, and... It's like a hollow plastic at the bottom. So it does feel very cheap, but I mean, it is a $4 brush, but e.l.f. Um, is a good brand. I really do like their products, and the fact that all their products are like cruelty and vegan, um, or cruelty free and vegan are great. So that is the second item. I item. <laughs> it retails for $4. So the next item is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. So I cannot try this on camera because it removes makeup and cleanses the skin, but it retails for $64. And it says, um, it's a light scrub cleansing balm. Um, it has shea butter. It's a shea butter formula. And that is exactly, it's got that like smell. So it is like a when you rub it on, it's kind of got that shea butter like look to it. Like you have to rub it in real good for it not to look greasy, but it does soak into the skin nicely. Oh, it smells, it smells very like, um, earthy, if that makes sense, which I don't mind. Um, but then it says to scrub it on there and then rinse off, but it's very soft. Um, and it says it's, it's a game changer. Oh, so it says it's, um, it's like scrubbing. So instead of scrubbing, this is better because it's, um, not as fat, rough on the skin. Um, so, I mean, it's a cool product to try. Um, and I am excited to try it. I've never heard of this brand, Elemis. I don't know if any of y'all have. Let me know below. Um, but again, that retails for $64. So the next item I see is a sheet mask. And this is the Revitalizing Japanese Sake Glam Up um, Sheet Mask. And it's $9.98 for $10. And I think there's one in here. So it's like a dollar right here. Um, but I love masks and I will give it a try. It's one of those weird sheet masks, which always make me look like my skin is coming off, which is so weird to me. But some of them work very, very well. Um, so again, that's $9.98 for 10 of those. So the next item, we're just going right through. I know you can hear my dogs. I'm sorry. Um, around here, I have kids. I have dogs, cats. We just kind of deal with it. So this is a 50 um, SPF broad spectrum mineral light fluid sunscreen. 
and this retails for $33.50. This, of course, is a sample, um, but this is the product. Open it up. It doesn't have much of a smell, so oops, it comes out really fast. It's kind of liquidy, but that is it. I'm just going to... Oh, and it is. It's like sunscreen. Like, it's white, and you have to really rub it in. But it really has no smell whatsoever. Like, none. Which is nice, actually. Um, again, at $33.50 is what that retails for. And it is the La, Ro La Roche Passe Anthelios 50 Ultra Light Sunscreen Fluid. And I cannot believe I just said that. And I hope I said it right. <laughs> so, that is the... Um, what is that fourth product one two three yep yeah, fourth product so we have two more products and the next one is the cleo noir oh my gosh i'm about to drop it and this is a twist up eyeliner so i'm going to open it up and this right here retails for 18 dollars. and oof so the cap comes off and this is the twist so it pops up and this actually is like a, uh, it looks like a purpley, bur like a deep purple. Oh, wrong way. If you can see right here, the purple. And then on me, it is that color right there. I am actually really happy that I got an eyeliner that wasn't just black. I get so many black eyeliners in these boxes. I have too much. Like, I can't use them all. I honestly cannot use all the black eyeliner I have. And I love colored eyeliners. So, this is um, great. And, again, it's the Clio Noir Twist Up Eyeliner. And this is, like, the purpley color. I don't know if it says what color it is. I don't see a color name anywhere. But that might be because I'm not looking in the, in the right spot. But it is the purple. Okay, the color. last item is the Wander Beauty Unlashed Mascara. And it retails for $24. And it is in a pouch. I like the color. I'm a sucker for this, like, um, like the burgundies and the mauves, especially during fall time. Actually, um, wearing some, I actually got this sweater from Zoffel. And I'll link the link. I'll link the video link below so you can watch that if you want. Um, but this is a volume and curl mascara. And again, it's $24 retail. So the brush is a good size. It has a slight curve, um, but it looks nice. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off real quick. I'm going to put um, my foundation and all that on, and then I'm going to be able to try the eye products that I received. First, um, I'm going to use my Skin Ink. So this is actually something that's almost gone of mine, um, and I got it from one of my Allure Beauty Boxes, and I love it. Um, it is a Skin My Daily Dose Serum Cocktail, and I have tried a lot of them, and this really, um, I feel like it really goes deep in. Like, I feel hydrated, and, and my skin feels nice um, for a long time. And when I'm going to work, I need that because I feel I get so gross feeling at work. So, put that on first, and then I'm going to go in with the La Roche pa Passe. <laughs> The sunscreen that um, I got from the Allure box that I just opened. And I'm going to just wait for this to kind of go in a little bit more. But this says it's with, C with Cell Ox Shield. And it's water resistance for up to 40 minutes. And it's made in France. So I actually feel dry. I'm not sticky anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this on my face. Now, I did tell you when I first tried it on my hand that it does, um, it does have that sunscreeny feel. Like, you can, it takes a, a while to rub in. You get a slight smell from it, but honestly, it's almost, like, scentless. Like, when you first put it on, you might get, like, the, the smallest sunscreen scent, but I'm telling you all, like, you don't smell it anymore. It, like, sinks in, and even the smell is gone. So I feel like that moisturizer gave me like um, a slight glow, but I feel matte, if that makes sense. Like I feel very, um, I do have the glow on my cheeks and on my like chin and my nose, kind of like where I would put highlighter, but it, I don't feel wet at all and it feels very dry and like has a matte feeling, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I hope it does, but that is how that feels and I actually am not hating it. So, um, I do actually like that quite a bit. 
um, just the way that it feels. A lot of my other sunscreen moisturizer leave like a weird film feeling. I don't, but this does not. So that is a plus. All right, so I'm going to go off real quick, do my foundation, concealer, all that jazz, and I'll be back to use my highlighting brush for my highlighter, uh, my highlighting brush for my highlighter, and then my two eye products that I can try on camera. So I'll be right everybody. back. I am back, and I am uh, blushed, contoured, foundationed, and concealed, and powdered. Yeah. Oh, and I also put lip gloss on from ColourPop. Um, this is the lip gloss I got in the eBay box, actually. Um, for foundation today, I used my Born This Way, the multi-use concealer. Super coverage. I actually use this as my foundation. Um, my powder was the KVD translucent powder. My bronzer is actually my Phase Zero um, palette. And then my blush was actually my Evening Glamour palette. So both of those last palettes were in one of my last unboxings. I'll link that down below as well. And so the last thing for like my main face would be my highlight. And I'm going to use my little um, Elf Fresh. So I'm use my Fenty Beauty palette for my highlighter just because I know this product picks up well on most other brushes. So I'm going to go ahead and see how well this brush picks up. I'm so sorry my dogs are psycho. All right, so I'm going to use just a little bit of this middle color, and I will say it picks it up very well. So I'm just going to put a little bit over and a little bit over here as well. All right, so if you can see the shimmer, I've put a very light amount on there, um, but it definitely applies it very nicely and the way I want it to. So I will say the brush, especially for $4, works well. Um, it does, like I said, feel cheap, but it's not, I mean, if it works well and stays intact, I don't understand why it would matter. So that is the e.l.f. brush. The next item I'm going to try real quick on camera is my purple eyeliner that I received. And this is brand Clio Noir. And I'm just going to go ahead. You know, actually, I'm going to use it on my waterline first and see how it goes on the waterline. So, it definitely went on, like, this lash area very well, very easily, but the waterline, it didn't stick to as well, but that's okay. I will say it's a nice, like, look at the purple on the bottom. Um, I'm gonna, I'm curious, so I'm gonna try to make a, um, slight, like, wing with it real quick. It's not a very, very, very dark eyeliner, but it does show up if you apply it um, hard enough and, you know, um, go over it a few times. But I, I kind of like how it's buildable because sometimes I don't always want um, such a harsh liner, even though that's the look I go for the most. All right, so it does go on. Um, it's not a very sharp wing. It's just kind of like a... I don't know, a soft wing, if that helps explain it. It is like a softer look, if you can see. It's very pretty. Um, just real quick, I'm going to take this Sailor Moon, the Luna color right here, this like very bright purple, and I'm just going to apply it slightly just to give a little added purple color to my eye before I place my... um mascara on and put a little bit underneath too and kind of brighten that purple since it wasn't very um very bright all right so that's adding the luna over like over top of it it adds it's definitely more purple now I do really like um, the look of both of those together. I will say as an eyeliner by itself, if you're looking for a very subtle light purple, this is a go-to for you. I like something a little louder. Doesn't mean I'm not going to use it and doesn't mean it's bad. Um, and again, it is light. So if you like a real dark eyeliner, you ha would have to apply it quite a few times. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this mascara. I'm going to do it 
just on this. Oh my goodness, I always get it everywhere. Um, sorry. I try to pay more attention, but I'm listening to my kids right now. I don't know what they're doing in the bathroom, but they're talking. It sounds like nonsense. I don't, sometimes they, um, make up their own languages. Do your kids do that? Do anybody? Because <laughs> they'll try, I'll try talking to them. I have no idea what they're saying. And they, they're not, like, they're not saying, it's not like twins where they make up their own language and they understand each other. My kids are literally talking, like, made up words. And then pretending like they understand each other and that I'm just like silly and don't understand them. Literally, they're not understanding each other either. I don't know why they do that, but if you all do it too, at least mine aren't alone. Okay, so I will say right off the bat, I really like this mascara. This is the Wander uh, mascara and it's supposed to uh, curl. It definitely does curl and it's got a good color to it. It's not the blackest mascara I've ever used, um, but it definitely adds length and curls. And I do really like how it looks i was supposed to add volume i mean i guess it adds a little bit of volume see this is without and this is with um it's not the most volumizing the go big or go home by kbd is very volumizing and i'm used to that so this isn't quite as um extreme but it does lengthen and it does curl so and it does um apply a good amount of product i was able to get um enough product on the brush without having to dip it multiple times which i hate having to dip it multiple times so just going to finish this eye oh my lord all right i think i got a little spot up here all right so those are my eyelashes with the wander beauty mascara and I really, really like the mascara. This will definitely go to use. I really like the um, the look all together. I will say, um, as a whole, the box for $15, again, is worth it. I spend more than $15 on mascara sometimes trying to find a good one, and this is definitely a good one. So, uh, Unlashed, great. Um, I'm really excited to try my Pro Collagen. Um, this is the makeup remover or like a wash and my dry conditioner. I also got a sheet mask that I couldn't try on camera. So those three those three things are definitely something that I'll have to go back and check out. Um, but it was definitely nice to get in the box. Um, my sunscreen was another um, item I received, the La Roche Passe. Ooh, and I tried that on for you all. And I did like the way it sat underneath the makeup. Um, I, I liked it a lot. And hopefully it does well outside we'll see um i guess i'll see that today but since it's not too hot i shouldn't have any issues but i do like how that sat under my skin and um i will be using it until i run out of it the elf brush for four dollars you can't go wrong wrong is it my favorite brush no but again it's four dollars and um i can never have too many brushes i'm actually starting to grow quite a collection um and then the other product was the clio noir um and it was okay. It was a very like light eyeliner, but I like that it was purple and I, I will wear it, especially for those days that I don't feel like doing too much. I just want a light um, color underneath my lashes and some mascara. These two products will be a go-to for me. Again, I can't say enough good things about this mascara. I'm really liking the way it looks. So, um, yes, for $15, that box made me very happy. Um, I do really like Allure beauty box and the reason I might not get it all the time or I've said that I'm not going to get it anymore and then I end up getting it is because there's always at least one product that makes the whole box worth it and this time for me it's the eye products but most of the time it is only beauty and I can't try on a lot of it for you all this time I was it was a little bit more makeup oriented and I did really appreciate it and like that so again, this is the Allure Beauty Box. It's $15, um, and I really hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Thank you so, so much for watching, and please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, the finished look turned out very cute, and I do like it. So thanks again, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.